Welcome to this quick view of the 206 update for the Stream Deck Media plugin. This update is all about the Mackie control action. Uh, there are some uh, performance enhancements, there are some uh, stability enhancements where buttons will keep their state when you switch profiles back and forth. Uh, but I will show the three main features for this update. The first feature is the ability to show track names on all channel buttons in Stream Deck. There are some tricks involved uh, for the plugin to find the track name. Uh, let's go through those. If we look at a real Mackie control, there is the LCD strip at the top. Uh, on that strip, the door will show uh, information about each uh, channel. What information is shown uh, it depends on the door, and it also depends on the state of the door. Uh, most of the time there is a track name displayed there, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, the position of the uh, track name also differs depending on door. Cubase, as I have here, show track name on the lower row, while, for instance, Logic and Studio One show track name on the upper row. So the plugin must pick the correct row of that LCD strip uh, and show it on the button. So if we look at the configuration of the button, there is a new uh, drop down field where you can select if that button should show a track name or I should say, should try to show a track name. Uh, and if so, if it should show the upper row from the LCD strip or the lower row. The, the plugin doesn't know if that row contains a track name. Uh, it just mirrors that row from the LCD strip to, to the button. So on this button, you can say we have the same uh, track name on the button as we have on the LCD strip. I have configured this profile with uh, LCD strip for all eight uh, channels. And you can see if we change bank in the mixer, the, the uh, track names and the LCD display will follow the uh, eight channels that are currently connected uh, in the mixer. And you don't need to have these LCD strip buttons uh, configured in your profile. Uh, the plugin will keep all this information in the background so you can show sh uh, track names on the channel buttons only if you want to. The next feature is uh, a number of new things for fader buttons. Uh, previously, if you wanted to have a graphic display of the uh, fader state or fader position, uh, you had a simple bar that showed where the fader is positioned at the moment. In this new release, we have some really cool features for uh, faders. As a start, we have the default fader type that I called mixer type faders that tries to look like a fader in the door with uh, a, an optional scale and a fader, fader handle that will move uh, along with the fader in the door. And of course, you can uh, control the fader with the button. And we have, you have a number of things you can control. You can control whether you have, want dark or light background, uh, what kind of color you want on the fader handle, uh, the orientation of the, of, uh, the fader. And also if you want, uh, don't want a scale or a linear scale or a decibel scale on on uh, the button. Now, normally you have 
two fader buttons uh, to control the fader up and down. So if we make a copy of that one and say that the upper one will control up and the lower one will control down, we have uh, the normal configuration where you can control the fader up and down. Now, a cool feature with this, with, uh, this uh, version of uh, the plugin, you can now say for the upper button that it's actually the upper button and the lower button is lower. And now you have a fader that spans both buttons. You can use the upper one to move the uh, fader up and the lower one to move the fader down and you have the fader display shared among those two buttons. There is also an option if you don't like the uh, prepared view for these uh, faders. You can select to have create your own background and uh, handle and tell the plugin where those files are and uh, it will use your files instead of the, the built-in ones. Uh, please check the website for details of uh, how those files should be uh, constructed. There is also a cool feature where you can say if you want extra information on, on the buttons, uh, let's say that on this upper button, I want to have uh, the DB displayed. I need to change the, the uh, color and position of this information. Oh, should be white, sorry. Like that. So now you have uh, the DB information on the button. Of course, the span of the handle will be shorter uh, because that's the upper part is reserved for the, the, the decibel display. Um, but it might be handy to have it. And on the lower button, you can say that you want to have the track name displayed. I uh, show it like that. So that way you can have two buttons with uh, with the fader with both the track name and the actual db value displayed along with uh, the moving moving handle for the for the fader cool eh the last new feature that i want to go through is the selected track uh, that also needs some some explanation. If we look at a uh, a real Mackie control, you have the eight channel strips for the eight channels in the mixer that the Mackie control and the plugin uh, can control. Those eight channels is the only thing that the the uh, Mackie control and the plugin can see and can control. Everything else in the mixer is is unknown uh, for the plugin. So if I select a track uh, in the mixer, I have set up a number of buttons on on Stream Deck where I have selected uh, said that this is not one of the eight channels normally on a, uh, a Mackie control, but it's the selected channel in the mixer. There is no concept of selected channel for the real Mackie control. So how can the plugin use a selected channel? Well, on the Mackie control, you have the select button. And if you press that button, you will select that channel, obviously. Uh, as a response to that, the, the door will highlight that select button. And that information is also sent to, to the plugin. So in the background, the plugin have information about all the known channels in the mixer and the state for all 
all buttons, uh, all functions for those channels. Uh, so the plugin can look at which channel has the select button uh, enabled. And then it knows that that channel is selected and it shows uh, all the information on those buttons uh, for that channel. And it controls that channel uh, when you use the buttons. So if I select a different channel, you see that it will uh, show different values and, and will uh, adapt to that, uh, that channel. And if I use uh, the buttons, I will control the channel that is selected. One thing to, to be aware of uh, in this configuration is that the Mackie control and the plugin can only control the eight channels that are currently mapped in the mixer. So if I select a channel outside of those eight, that a completely unknown thing to the plugin and to a Mackie control. From the plugin point of view, none of the eight control channels is selected. So in this case, uh, the plugin will clear the information on all these buttons. And also, if you try to use it, you will get a uh, exclamation mark telling you that uh, there is currently no selected channel that is known by the plugin. If you select one of the eight channels, you're fine. So that's all for now. Uh, I hope you liked this information. If you did, uh, please let me know. Uh, there are a number of people that has asked for YouTube videos and this is the first one. Um, so please give me feedback if you liked it and if you want more please tell me uh, what you like to see uh, explained in in youtube videos thanks for now